Hi, this is Isteli again. Um, I couldn't attend the our last class, so I'm flying blindfolded about this last video. I really, really don't know um, what other info Professor Saicedo might want. The only thing I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to be answering some of the questions that he has for this last video. This last video is called um, Teaching Strategies. So the first question says, what is my subject? My subject or my class is about dental anatomy. The video before this one, if you want to go check it out. Um, I talked a little bit about my class. Dental anatomy is one of the classes given to the uh, second grade, second semester students. And for me, it is basic. You have to know the most about dental anatomy because it's like uh, one of the building blocks, one of the, the roots to this great big old tree, which would be dentistry. And it's one of the, the, the classes that from this it parts to all the other classes. It's just a really, really basic and important. And for me, it's there is no like special topic or there is no topic that I don't like. I like all of them because each one of them starts like building on top of the other and it starts not only building, let's say, upward, but it expands. It gives us um, a lot to grow on. So, like I said, there is no topic that I don't like. I like all of them of my class. And like I said, they're all important. Mm, it also... Uh, what is it about? Well, dental anatomy, we will be studying what is a tooth, how it is um, conformed or composed. Uh, we don't get, go really deep into that because that is another class, but we give like the building blocks to what would be that class. Um, it also, we also talk about how these teeth are, um, how they function and a little bit, like I said, because that, if I go very deep into that topic, it's another class, it's, which is called occlusion. And um, we also talk about the way, uh, how many um, types of dentition there are, the baby teeth or um, children's teeth and adult teeth or our second dentition. And I don't go in a lot into what uh, is baby teeth because that's also another class, which is um, pediatric, pediatric, Pediatric dentistry. Sorry, I got tongue twisted right there. Um, but that's why it's for me. This this class is so enriching because it has a little bit of everything, and you have to know a little bit of everything because um, a lot of people or a lot of students when they see you give the class 
and you give them an example that happened to you as a dentist in your office with a patient, they're like, wow, so that's what happens. But you're not a specialist in that. Um, no. Okay, then I can learn that too. Or I can specialize in this area. So that is like opening their eyes to the whole world of dentistry. And that's what makes, or for me, makes my class so, so important and so enlightening. And that's why I love my class. Um, do my students like it or enjoy it? Well, I think so. They're always, if I'm late, five or 10 minutes late, well, within the standards of being late, right? Five to 10 minutes after the hour, not five to 10 minutes before leaving, right? Just, you know, a few minutes late. My students are already there. They're sitting there waiting for me and saying, we're waiting for you. We want your class. And that is so, it feels me, it, 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 it makes me happy. It makes me want to give more as a teacher. How do I know that I like it? Um, How do I know that I like it? What I, well, I just said part of it, but one time I, I told them I was going to be late. I had a problem. Um, my father got sick and he fell in the hospital. We had to take him to the hospital. Um, once he was in the ER being attended, I told my mother to take care of him and that I had to go to my class. I was half an hour late. I was crying because I wanted to be with my dad. I was crying because I was late and I felt I had disappointed my student and I started crying once I got there they were all there waiting for me and they said we don't we didn't want to go because we knew you were coming and we like your class this is the only class we would wait for we would want to stay to listen and that was mind-blowing for me I had never ever had someone say that to me a whole class say that to me and that was just so beautiful that I knew I had to give more I knew I I was doing something right as a teacher. How do I catch their attention? I'm very, uh, I try to joke with them sometimes or sometimes I will give examples with things that happen day to day on a day to day basis like, uh, I will use an, as an example their cars or their, the suspension on their cars to explain how um, their TMJ will work. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's happened to my car. Well, this is what can happen to your teeth if uh, a tooth is left out and so on and so on. So I, I try to capture their attention with things that are easy to sim to assimilate and I just try to give my all I don't 
consider myself the best teacher because I try not to compare myself. But every time a student says, I like your class, I know I'm doing something right. And when somebody pushes me to say, they, they push me to learn more by saying, I didn't understand, or I need another example, or I want to know a little bit more about a certain topic. It, that pushes me to go even further. And I really like that because that for me is a challenge. It's something that I know I have to work on to be better. And I guess that's what a teacher should do. Always, like I said in my the video before this, a teacher has has to study all the time. A professionist, ha, a, as me as a dentist, I try to study all the time because there is no same patient. There is also no same student. All students are individuals. They're different, and all of them study or learn a different way. So I have to know and. I, have to learn how to reach them and that's one of my goals as a teacher so this would be my last video for my course I thank Professor Salcedo Peck for all his um, tips and so on to, to bring out the best of my students and I hope all my classmates had a good grade and I hope I get a good grade also. Um, thank you and hopefully I'll make another video for my class. Thank you, bye.